What's up? Welcome back, everybody. I'm Will, and I'm here with Road to Fossil. What's up, y'all? My name is Zach. I play drums. I'm Devin. I play bass. Uh, I'm Payson. I play guitar and do vocals. Uh, we started about eight years ago, somewhere yeah, in there, man. It's been, a, it's been, uh, it's a, been a long trip, for real. Tell me a little bit about managing a team, like a band, for eight years. We've been through a lot of different uh, people, <laughs> for, for starters, and we've also had our own falling out amongst each other a couple of times before, but, you know, it's, it's like a brotherhood, you know what I mean? You always have each other's back no matter what. We've been with each other for the longest, you know, like, anytime he calls and, hey, man, you want to play music? Sure, man, let's go. You know, like, I'm ready. I started off as, like, a singer and uh, a, a screamer, but <laughs> it, was, it was really bad because I was, like, 13. 12 so it was terrible but um, I started playing guitar about three years ago Cool. yeah and I've uh, been actually singing like really working on it for about the last two years I've been playing drums since I was about six you know my brother was a big influence on it he uh, showed me the basics and I was just like fuck man this shit is so much fun you know I just took it further I started learning actually on guitar a couple crazy ex-girlfriends later I ended up with a bass so I bought one for one and I had to get it back in the past years, we've um, kind of focused on chasing labels a lot because we just we want to break out, you know what I mean, kind of like how you mentioned. But um, I think recently you've come to terms with the fact that, like, you know, it's not it's not like that. We need to just play our own music and build it as much as we can, get it to where we like it as musicians, yeah. as a group. And then if we're good enough, somebody will find us. And I honestly believe that we are good enough. What do you guys think have been some of your greatest achievements or some of your best moments looking back? We've been through, like, that post-hardcore bullshit, that metalcore and all that. You know, like over the past, what, like two, three years, yeah. we've really actually found our sound. We just recorded our first EP, and um, we actually have like a record ready that we're going to start recording soon, but that first EP was a pretty big accomplishment. Maybe we could just talk about your guys' process, and what are you guys doing out here in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> yeah, just right. killing it all the time? We got to get to work. You know, we got to show people like rock and roll, punk rock, whatever you want to call it, isn't dead. Right. You know, like we're trying to bring back like 90s grunge, you know, all that, all the really good music that didn't get a chance because of everything that's happened in history. Like, there'll never be another Nirvana, there'll never be another Red Hot Chili Peppers, there'll never be another Black Sabbath, and we want to be that band there where there'll never be another Road to Fossil. Could you guys tell me a little bit about how you guys balance that sound? It really starts with a like, guitar player. You yeah. know, he'll come at us with like a 4-4 four, four time or like an 8-4, some crazy shit. And he's like, hey man, try this. Man, I don't think I can. Man, fuck you, do it anyway. Usually. We won't even be trying to make anything new. We'll just start jamming or all start playing, and we all just start feeling it and start playing. True. I like when right. that kicks in with some of that funky shit. If you don't know a part and you're getting frustrated, just feel it. You right. know, like, feel the part out, and you're like, okay, cool, you know, I got it. What do you guys want to do in the future? In my opinion, it's not all about the fame and, like, the money and shit. Like, I just want my music to be heard from somebody that's, like, all the way in, like, Berlin or some shit. Like, you know, just to be part of history, that shit would be so sick. You know, I want us to go worldwide, like everywhere, kind of like how you said, but and I could care less about fame or money, but I want to play Reading Festival to 100,000 people. You know what I mean? Like that's yeah. that's my goal. And what keeps me going every day is my idols. You know what I mean? Because they're they're better than me, and I want to be better than them. And your music doesn't have to be well known or like you know what's popular just to be good or famous or something yeah. like that. Like how there's a big four, like Nirvana, Pearl Jam, Alice in Chains, Soundgarden, Anthrax, Metallica, Megadeth, and Iron Maiden. Iron Maiden. Well, I would like to be a part of a big four. Yeah. I definitely feel that coming. And with the, everything that's going on politically, I think rock has got a pretty big, big spot to yeah, play in it right now. Sure. Fuck everybody who really doubts us, man, honestly. Like, I feel like we could be one of those bands that, that could make definitely bring punk back, seriously. Um, Huge shout out to um, my buddy Andrew. He passed away recently. Um, if it wasn't for him and a few others, I wouldn't want to play music the way I do now. Like emotionally, mentally, and physically. And I want to give a shout out to my uh, grandfather. He's passed away, but um, he really like pushed in the music in me. And I just thank you for that, man. Thank you guys for watching and sure. uh, just come out to the shows, man. And we really appreciate it, you know. Thanks, guys.